Hey guys, Chicago injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here. Today's video, I'm shooting the answer to two questions I got in the comment section. Pardon me while I have a sip of my coffee. Two questions for the price of one in this video. One is, I got an offer to settle my, insur my uh, case directly from the insurance company, but the offer is really low, and I don't understand why the offer is really low. The second question is, my lawyer got an offer on my injury case. I have pretty serious injuries, but the offer, once again, is very low. Both of those people want to know what should they do, what should they do. So it's a little bit of a different situation. We'll take them in order. First, if you're dealing with the insurance company one-on-one, uh, -on -one, make sure that you realize that they will offer you anything they think you'll take. Like, if they know it's a serious, solid, strong case, so that the chances are if you go get a lawyer, uh, you're going you're gonna to get paid more money, something like that. They want to get rid of you, um, but balance it with keeping hope so that you don't go and consult with an attorney, okay? So it, they, they know that you don't want to hire a lawyer if you've already been talking to them, right? you already been talking to them, then um, they're like, they, they smell blood in the water, right? It's the analogy I use all the time. Like, I'm not a, a basketball player. I played a little bit of football, and I boxed, and did a little bit of karate, and, you know, lifted weights and stuff like that, but I was never a basketball player. It would be like me trying to play a uh, elite high school player or something like that in basketball or like somebody who never played chess before trying to play chess with somebody who plays chess every day and is good at it right there's too many wrinkles in something like that for you to be good at it and you're never going to win that game the other guy is always going to win that game and the reason i use that analogy is in that analogy the insurance company is the one with all the knowledge and skill, and you're flying blind when you're not represented by an attorney, okay? Even on the simplest, most straightforward of cases, there are complexities to the cases that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I think I might have a couple of videos on that already. Uh, it, it's a hard topic to shoot a video on, but my point is, they're not going to give you a fair shake. Whatever you settle that case for, the case is probably worth two or three times more. So that's the context you're in, right? But here's what you should do if you're handling the case pro se. My first piece of advice is get a consultation from an attorney. Another thing you can do is get an idea of the value or potential value of the case without talking to an attorney, and that is where my good case calculator and uh, case cash calculator come in. Those are two free tools that I offer on my website for free. Links in the description. Basically, you just go to each one of them. They work similarly, but they ask different questions and give you different customized information to your particular situation. They're free to use. They take 20 seconds. And then you got custom information on your situation, all without talking to an attorney. Okay? So that's, you know, I built those for people so that they could learn more about their case without having to talk to an attorney, and they're completely free. Use them as many times as you want. Share them with friends. Whatever you want to do, they're there. Links in the description. That's one way for you to get an idea whether you have a good case or a bad case or what the settlement value of your case might be. Um, so links in the description. That's another thing I would recommend that you do. If you're not going to talk to a lawyer, use those tools to get an idea of the strengths of your weekends. Finally, finally, the third piece of advice, if you're dealing with an adjuster directly and they give you a crappy offer, ask them to justify it. Ask them to explain it. Um, presumably those numbers came from somewhere. Now, if they won't explain it to you or they give you some nonsense jibber-jabber, okay, then you know that they're not dealing with you in good faith. Okay. Anytime an insurance company gives you an offer and they will not explain it to you, will not break it down, will not tell you where the numbers come from. And I don't mean 
explaining it by saying, oh, the medical bills are too high and we're not considering your lost wages. That, that's not an explanation. That's a conclusion. They need to explain to you where they, the numbers came from. If they're not willing to do that, then you know what's happening, okay? You know what's happening. They are refusing to really deal with you in good faith. And at that point, honestly, unless you don't mind being one of the insurance company injury victims that gets far less than what you're entitled to, then go ahead and negotiate, get an extra 500 bucks on it, call it a day. But an attorney can do far more for you. See, insurance hate it. Insurance companies hate it when people actually work with an attorney who knows what they're doing, right? There's no shortage of your neighborhood guy who, you know, does divorces and traffic court and also injuries. It's probably not the attorney you're, you're going to want. You've heard of the jack of all trades, master of none, right? I guess the original saying was jack of all trades, master of one. But my point is, you want an attorney <clears throat> who sort of uh, has focused their practice on injury law, and they're going to be able to get you a far better deal because they're going to put the case together better. They know what the insurance companies look for to add value to the case, and they're familiar with the negotiation tactics. Then on the back end of the case, the attorney is going to be able to knock any bills or claims against that injury case down to almost nothing. Every dollar they take away from a doctor or another insurance company, like a health insurance company, is a dollar that goes directly into your pocket. And the work an attorney, a skilled attorney, does at the end of your case after it's settled often means that, you know, means a heck of a lot more money in your pocket. So, you know, you can negotiate on your own, but understand first, right out of the gate, they're not there to give you money. They're there to get rid of you and keep you from hiring an attorney because they know an attorney is going to get you more money. Um, number two, get a consultation from an attorney or use my case cash calculator and good case calculator on my website, links in the description, to get some idea about what your case might be worth. Finally, make them explain to you where their numbers come from. And if they won't, you know they're not dealing with you in good faith. And at that point, settle for whatever they're offering, squeeze them for 500 bucks more, or do the right thing and hire an attorney. I'll give you three guesses who I think you should hire. This guy right here, right? Um, anyway, if you have a case that you need help with, you can always call me. It's completely free to talk to me to get a consultation. You can reach me anytime, day or night at 312-500-4500. That's 312-500-4500. Never a charge to talk to me. You tell me what happened. I'll ask you some questions. And from there, I will answer all of your questions. If we want to proceed on a case together, we can do that. If we don't, you don't want to hire me or I don't want the case, we part as friends, right? So if you or anybody you know needs a lawyer, please send them my way. Now on to the second question. The second question is, to me, drives me nuts, right? Because I actually get this question all the time, right? I think I actually shot a video on this already, but it keeps coming up. I get a ton of people in the comment section who say, my lawyer's the worst, uh, he, he got me this offer, he wants me to accept it, he's putting pressure on me. I have very serious injuries. The offer is really, really, really low. You know, the offer is really, really low. What do, you know, what should we do? What should we do? So, um, it's similar to what I would tell you to do with the insurance adjuster. Look, the thing to remember is if you have an attorney who's representing you, no matter what you think of their skills or their people skills or how hard they're working or how familiar they are with your file and stuff of that nature, at the end of the day, whenever that case resolves, the lawyer is getting a third or more of the settlement. Or in the case of a work injury, it's 20%, not a third or 40%, like in a car crash or a fall down or a dog bite, bar fight nursing home, whatever, right? 
Uh, it's usually in, in the neighborhood of a third or 40 percent if it goes into litigation. On those kinds of cases, 20 percent in a workers' comp case. So if an attorney is getting 20 percent or one third, 33 and a third percent or more of your ultimate settlement or verdict at trial, and they tell you a settlement number and you don't understand it, make them explain it to you. Make them explain it to you. And if they're too busy, they don't have time, then ask for a face-to-face -face meeting or a Zoom meeting on your phone or computer. That's one of those, for those of you who don't know what Zoom is, I think everybody is kind of figuring out what it is, but it's you have a video conference on your phone with your attorney. I will tell you, I have hundreds of cases in my office, and I can tell you that on any case where there's an offer in my in my office, I am able, <clears throat> pardon me, I am able within within five minutes of looking at the details of the case, within five minutes I can have an hour-long conversation with a client and answer every one of their questions about why the offer is where it is and what happens if we don't take the offer and how much money they're going to have in their pocket. Now the difference is people call me and they say my lawyer won't explain the settlement offer to me I want to call you and have you explain it to me well first I'm not getting paid to do it you're paying a lawyer to do that already but that lawyer has all the information on the settlement not me they have the file they know the details not me so all I can really do is give you general information like I do in these videos but the lawyer who's actually getting paid from you at the end of the case make them explain it to you and if they won't do it over the phone, make them do it face to face and make them put it in writing. Now I'm going to tell you something. I write settlement offers in writing to my clients on almost every case. And if it's a simple one page settlement offer with the basics explaining how the settlement process works, it takes me no time at all to write that letter. Now, if it's a detailed case with problems and there are hard feelings or I feel like my client's not really understanding what's going on, well, boy, I'll tell you what. I, you know, I, um, we do it a little bit different. We do it a little bit different. I write a very detailed letter and I make sure the client signs off on it. Because I don't ever want a client walking out of my office or hanging up on the phone with me feeling like I did not explain to them what's going on and why. And I think that's a dying art. You know, I think it's I think young lawyers don't want to hear it. Take it or leave it. I'm busy. Uh, but that's not the right way to represent people. So if there's a lawyer who's got his hand in the honey pot, he's got his hand in the cookie jar, he's going to get paid at the end of the case out of your case. And they won't explain to you why the offer's crappy or why the offer's good and you should take it. Make them explain it to you. Make them put it in writing. And if they won't do it, you tell them, listen, until you'll explain it to me using plain English, I'm not signing anything. So that's the advice there. Anyway, um, that's all I have to say. Sorry I'm a little bit low energy today. I had a very busy day yesterday and got up early because I've got a ton of injured people to represent. And if you need help and you'd like to be one of them, I always have room in my office for one of my viewers or somebody referred by one of my viewers. You can always call me at 312-500-4500. That's 312-500-4500. Free call every time. And you can call me any day, any night, afternoon, mid-morning, any time of the day, any day of the year, the call is always free. The information and answers are always free. So that number is 312-500-4500, 312-500-4500. I already told you about the case cash calculator. tells you what your case might be worth. Or, and the good case calculator tells you whether you might have a good case or whether you might have a case with some real challenges links in the description to those tools I'm getting a ton of positive feedback completely free to use no lawyer to talk to and you use those tools and then you know in 10 or 20 seconds flat 
custom information tailored to your decision for free, all without speaking with a lawyer. So you can't beat that. Check that out if you're not ready to talk to a lawyer. Finally, if you enjoy my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I release a new video. Last is, if you enjoy my information, I've helped you in any way, and you wouldn't mind doing me a favor, only takes you about 10 seconds. I have a link in the description where you can leave me a five-star review in Google. You just go to that web address, pardon me, on your uh, phone, tablet, or computer. It takes you right to the page, click five stars, say a kind word, hit submit, and you're done. 10 seconds maybe 20 seconds for you but an invaluable favor to me that i will never forget and i will always always thank you for it really appreciate it if you don't feel comfortable doing it that's okay too we're still friends my youtube channel has over 200 injury videos where i have gotten pretty close to explaining every darn aspect of every kind of injury case that there possibly is so you can check them out they're categorized by work injury car crash you know different categories that might help you to find the videos you like but there's literally hundreds of them on there and it probably answers the questions you have too finally if you have a question that you want me to shoot a video on leave it in the comment section below and i'll shoot a video for you okie dokie well thanks for watching hope you and the family are well if there's anything i can do for you please give me a call uh Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.